Spurgeon here with Revzilla to welcome you to the 2016 ADV Parts Gear Guide at Revzilla.com. Now we understand that when you're buying that new ADV bike or you're looking to update some parts to that favorite in your garage, that there's an intimidating list of parts out there and what we've done is we've cultivated the best parts of what's available for 2016 so you can fine tune your ride. Now using our riding, our research and our expert opinion, we've cultivated a list of the best parts available for a variety of different riding styles. And we've broken this video down into three different sections. So we're gonna start off with getting dirty. So if you plan on spending most of the time off-road with your bike, the first section is gonna give you the best products of what's available for riding off-road. The second section is gonna be going the distance. And this is for you riders out there that really never plan on tackling more than just a fire road, but you do wanna use your ADV bike as a long haul touring machine. And the third section is gonna be maximizing performance to make sure that you are getting the most out of your ADV ride. Now at any time, you can click the menu, on your screen right now and jump ahead to any of the other sections. So if you don't plan on getting dirty with your bike, you can go ahead and check out Going the Distance. Now, keep in mind, this is gonna be part of our larger guide series here at Revzilla. So whether you're looking for helmets, jackets, gloves, boots, or you're looking for the best in parts for your sport bike, your cruiser, or your ADV machine, we've got a guide to help fine tune the best of what's available for 2016 across your entire moto universe. And if there's anything you see up here today that you want more information on, keep in mind that all the products here will have detailed video breakdowns that you can watch, as well as rider reviews that you can read, so you can get the most education possible before making any decisions. So with that being said, let's start off with getting dirty. And everything you see on the table today is gonna to be to maximize the performance of your bike in an off-road situation. So the first thing that we have up on the table is going to be Alt-Rider skid plates, and these are gonna work in conjunction with the Alt-Rider crash bars. Now, Alt-Rider skid plates are gonna be our top pick for skid plates for 2016. In some cases, you're looking at double the OEM size of skid plates that come with your factory machine. It's gonna be anodized aluminum. There's a variety of different colors available. And really what I like about this is that it's super beefy in its construction while still maintaining a lightweight design. Keep in mind, if you're off-road somewhere and you're going through some really rutted terrain, the last thing you wanna do is hit a jagged rock and rip open the oil pan on your bike. It's gonna end your ride immediately and leave you probably stranded somewhere you don't wanna be. So adding a skid plate to your bike is gonna maximize the protection of the underbelly of your machine. And Allrider does a really nice job of giving you options that'll work with either an OEM crash bar setup or the Altrider crash bar setup. And they're also gonna maximize being able to perform your maintenances without having to remove the actual skid plate itself. Now that's gonna take us right into the Altrider crash bars. And like I said, this makes a really nice union together because they're optimized where you can use them together and you can get the pieces that best integrate with both the crash protection as well as the skid plate protection. Now what you're gonna see on the crash bars in front of me, these are off of a BMW R1200 GS and that's pretty much the Grand Mac daddy of off-road ADV bikes. And what you're gonna see with this is massive 1.25 inch tubing and they use a stainless steel. Here's why I like that. They use a stainless steel even though they powder coat it because if you crash this bike and you scratch that powder coating off and you expose that steel underneath, raw steel is gonna rust where the stainless steel is gonna be more impervious to the elements so you don't have to worry about it rusting even after you crash time and time again. You're also gonna notice that they don't pinch the tubing down when they make their welds. They use a five axis point and they actually do a 360 degree weld for the strongest welds to give you the strongest protection on the market. And you're also gonna notice that with the mounting points. The mounting points are gonna be structurally designed to just disperse the amount of the impact back to the frame and away from the engine itself so you don't have to worry about damaging any of those key components when you're out there riding and crashing your bike off-road. Now moving along to the middle of the table, we've got Bark Busters handguards. So you've got your bike all set up to be safe in a crash, but you need to make sure that your hands are safe as well as those expensive levers, and Bark Busters is the best way to do that. It's the best top pick for 2016 because they're gonna have the most available variety of different types of crash protection, and it's simply gonna be the best product in the market to keep your hands safe. I've seen guys go down where they've destroyed the handlebars and the Bark Busters are able to pull off and reinstall again on another bike because you simply can't destroy these. And in addition to being able to use these for a wide variety of motorcycles, and all you have to do is type your bike into the bike finder, and they're gonna have universal options, bike-specific options, and then you can also fine tune exactly whether you want a full aluminum backbone, a half aluminum backbone, and then the actual size of the plastic guards themselves. So there's really a large variety of options, so this is why the Bark Busters handguards are our best pick for 2016. 
Now, Rox risers are the next item on the table. And the reason the Rox risers are on the table, this is the best way for you to change the height of your handlebars without having to change the handlebars themselves. There's a lot of risers out there and Rox gets our top pick for 2016. And really what we're gonna have here is a variety of different heights from seven eighths inches up to two inches. And you can also change the pitch. So it's not just the height, but you can also change the pitch and how those handlebars come into you. And this is gonna be great for you folks riding off road because you're gonna be spending a lot of time standing up on your motorcycle and you need to make sure that the handlebars fit you in a very natural way. The other thing that's great about this is there's an anti-vibration version. So if you're out there rocking a big single cylinder thumper and you're tired of all that vibration being transmitted to your handlebars, the anti-vibration version adds some extra buffer in there to really eliminate some of that vibration that you would normally feel. So for those of you out there that are looking to add handlebar risers to your bike, you wanna go from 7 8 inch, two inch, there's a wide variety of different options. Rocks risers are the way to do that. Now we come into the luggage section of our getting dirty. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is the Giant Loop Columbia dry bag on the Triumph Tiger behind me. Now I've used this bag on a trip down to Nashville where I conquered about 2000 miles. Oh, it spread over about five days. And really what impressed me with this is that it gave me more storage than a traditional top box and it cut about 15 pounds off of the weight. And that's without any of the gear in it. So we've seen a huge push from ADV riders really moving into soft dry bag luggage because it's gonna be a lot lighter than traditional hard bags while still maintaining a large range of storage options. This particular bag has 70 liters in capacity and I was able to fit a ton of stuff in here. It's also 22 ounce PU coated vinyl. And what that means is it's guaranteed waterproof, it's super beefy, you can crash in it, it's gonna hold up and everything inside is gonna be keeping all that gear nice and dry. So if you're looking to add storage to your bike, you don't want to add weight and you want to optimize your off-road experience, Giant Loop Columbia Dry Bag is going to be the way to go. And that's going to take us into the tank bag. So if you're riding around off-road, chances are you want a tank bag. It's easy storage, but you don't want to have to worry about this conflicting with your range of motion when you're standing up. And for 2016, Wolfman gets it with their Black Hawk tank bag. This is my favorite because I've spent a lot of time standing up with other tank bags and it always manages to feel like I'm being pushed back off the tank. And when I'm really riding aggressively off-road, I want to pitch myself into the tank. And what I like about the Wolfman Black Hawk, it allows me to do so, doesn't inhibit my range of motion, and it still has that nice beefy construction. You're looking at a sloped angle of this. It's going to work great with the overall gas tank on your ADV bike. You're getting 1680 d PU coated ballistic fabric, and it's just going to give you a nice range of storage options so you can throw those extra little pieces into your bag without having to worry about it inhibiting the way you're riding that motorcycle. Now, if you have no intention of going off-road, let's move on to the next section, which is going to be going the distance. We are now going to move into the going the distance section of this gear guide. And there's a reason that these giant ADV bikes have become a favorite among riders looking to traverse long distances, and that's because they give you a wide range of comfort and versatility. Now, adding to that comfort and versatility are going to be the products that you see on the table right now. Starting on my right hand side, we've got the Pouge Touring Windscreen. When you are rolling down the highway at 80 miles an hour, you want to maximize that wind protection so you don't get to the end of the road and your neck and your shoulders are just killing you at the end of a long day. The Pouge Touring Screens are our top pick for 2016 because they're available for a wide variety of ADV bikes. They're going to be taller and wider than your OEM screens and they're going to maximize the airflow. It's not just that it's a tall screen, they're going to be angled in a way where it helps to push the airflow around you without adding to extra buffeting on your helmet. They're also going to be available in a wide variety of different tints and it's going to use acrylic. Acrylic is going to be three millimeters thick. It's going to cut down on vibration, but really what you're getting with acrylic is that it's not going to fade or yellow over time and you can buff out any scratches. So you get a screen that continues to look great year after year. Moving along to the Denali D4 Flood Spot Hybrids, we are now getting into electronics. For a lot of riders out there, there's a lot of creepy crawlers running around the road at night and you want to make sure you can see them before you run into them. And with the D4, what this is going to do, it's going to optimize your range of view. You've got four bulbs in each one. LEDs, only 40 watt draw combined, 20 watts per light. What you're getting is a much wider range, but you're also going to be able to see down the road about three times further than a traditional motorcycle high beam. So this Denali D4s are going to be absolutely the best option for adding auxiliary lights to your motorcycle. And also, 
Denali does a great job of giving you mounting hardware that is bike specific. So if you're worried about how to do this, you simply choose the right mounting hardware for your bike and you can follow the instructions and get it mounted up to give you the best range of visibility when you're rolling down the road at night. Moving along to the Oxford heated grips. There's a lot of riders out there that don't wanna to have to utilize heated gear. So you don't wanna to have to rock on heated gloves all the time. You can simply add Oxford heated grips to give yourself a nice range of heat coming to your palms. And if you go ahead and you join these up with something like the Bark Busters that we talked about earlier, which is gonna to help to deflect the wind, you're gonna be able to keep your hands nice and warm all winter long. What's great about the Oxford, sub $100, you're getting heated grips onto your motorcycle. Five different ranges of heat that you can choose from, and installation is super simple. You can also fine tune these. You can cut them down to fit your specific bike, and there's a wide variety of different grips available from Oxford. Top pick for heated grips for 2016. Now we come to Kayoko throttle locks. Keiko throttle locks are gonna simply do that. They're gonna lock your throttle. If you don't have an electronic cruise control on your bike and you're going five, 600 miles a day, your right hand gets tired. I used to have to take my old Bonneville and actually ratchet back the, uh, the throttle cable so when I turned the throttle on, I could let go and the throttle locked on. Completely not safe, don't do that. But Keiko throttle locks, what they do is they allow you to do that same thing. You can grab the gnarled end, twist it back, locks the throttle on, and you simply twist it forward and it disengages and your throttle works normally. There's a ton of options out there. There's over 180 different Kyoko throttle locks in the market to work with a wide variety of different motorcycles. And that's why this is our top pick. It works, it's easy, and there's going to be one for your bike. Moving along to the Airhawk. Airhawk is a known brand. You don't want to add a $400 seat to your bike. You simply want some additional comfort when you're taking those longer days. You can get an Airhawk. It is going to be an air bladder and it's simply just set it on top of your seat, sit on it, and it's going to add you comfort so your hiney isn't killing you when you get to the end of your long ride. Airhawk has been around for years, but really what we're seeing with the dual sport seat is it's going to be more articulated and cut to work with the dual sport seat of an adventure style motorcycle. Now we are going to get into luggage and you're gonna see two GV pieces on my left hand side. First, we are coming to the Trekker Outback series, available in 38 or 47 liters capacity. This is gonna be a full aluminum top box. It gives you that ADV look. Like we said in the first section of this, for those of you getting dirty, chances are you wanna cut some weight down. But if you're going long distances on a bike, chances are you want lockable luggage. The other thing that I really like about this, they're waterproof. GV doesn't say they're waterproof, but I've got 12,000 miles on a set of these on my personal bike, and I have ridden through monsoon style rains, not a leak, and I don't use the inner dry bags that are available extra. I think these are absolutely fantastic, and they are beefy enough that if you do wanna go off-road, they'll be able to tackle everything you throw its way, and if you come to a campsite at the end of the night, fun fact, you can pop them off and use them as a stool when you're sitting around the campfire. Now we come to the final piece on the table and that is going to be the GV XS 308 tank lock tank bag. We're gonna have this in the going the distance section because it will inhibit you a little bit if you are standing up on your motorcycle. However, if you're going the distance, you're sitting down most of the time, you're riding it like a touring bike, this is gonna be your top pick for a tank bag. 20 liters capacity for storage, it is expandable, and it has that tank lock system, which means with the push of a button, you can snap it on, snap it off your tank ring, and just go. The other thing that I really like about the XS308, and the reason it was my pick, is that you do have this removable fanny pack. And if you have not watched the detailed breakdown video for this, check it out. I'm doing a little bit of a, of a little bit of a shake with that, uh, with that fanny pack on. But what really is great about the fanny pack is that you can keep all of your wallet, your cell phone, all those expensive items with you without having to take the entire bag when you go in somewhere for lunch or for dinner. Now, speaking of detailed breakdown videos, if you have seen anything up here that you want more information on, make sure to check out the detailed breakdown videos on each of these products read other rider reviews, and make sure to subscribe to us at RivZilla to keep up with all the gear reviews we have rolling out. Now let's move into maximizing performance. Now last but not least, we come to maximizing performance. So regardless of whether you like to spend your time on road or off, chances are you wanna get the most out of your machine. So starting with my right hand side, we have got the PDM60. This is from Row Electronics, and this is the best power distribution module on the market today. We're gonna to call this the best because it doesn't utilize fuses. What you're getting with this is it acts as a circuit breaker. So we were talking about the Denali lights earlier and the Oxford heated grips. Chances are there's probably additional electronic fuckles that you wanna throw onto your bike. And as you start to do this, 
your underneath, the underneath of your seat or your side cover begins to just look like a rat's nest of wires. So what the PDM60 allows you to do is it allows you to just kind of fine tune and run all the electronics into one unit and then you can set the amperages in each of the six channels on this. It's completely programmable. And the best part about this for ADV riders out there is that it doesn't utilize fuses. So if you pop a fuse, all you have to do is cycle your key on and off and it operates as a circuit breaker and it resets that circuit. This is great if you're stuck out in the middle of God knows where and you blow a fuse on something, you don't have to worry about keeping a whole ton of fuses with you if you're taking a longer trip. Moving right along, we come to the Dynajet Power Commander. And there's a reason that I put this before we get into the exhaust. One of the number one questions we have is, if I put an aftermarket exhaust on my bike, do I have to add some kind of a fuel controller? My argument is that you should probably be adding a fuel controller even with a stock setup. And the Dynajet Power Commander is the number one pick for 2016 for the ADV market. And that's because they have something for pretty much every ADV bike out there. And the reason that I say that you need this before you even consider anything else is because the fueling, especially when you're riding around off-road, can be super twitchy and super aggressive on some of these modern bikes. So by being able to fine tune the fueling on your motorcycle, you can really get the best throttle response possible for both on-road as well as off. And an installation on this, it's super simple. I know it is because I watched my dad install one of these on his Suzuki V-Storm 1000. And this is the same guy that put power steering fluid into a brake reservoir when he was working on truck. So if he can install this on a motorcycle, so can you. Moving along to exhaust, we have the Akrapovich, and this is pretty much the best exhaust on the market today. The most premium exhaust, the most premium components, and there's a killer detailed breakdown video on this that Lemmy did that'll give you all the facts on this. The reason it's sitting on the table for the best ADV exhaust isn't all the extra power you're going to get, but it's really the weight savings. The easiest way to cut weight on a motorcycle that you're really gonna be throwing around in off-road situations is to throw an aftermarket exhaust on. You're looking at a 15 to 25% weight savings over the factory exhaust. And then you can also go ahead and replace the header systems because Akrapovich does a really nice job of giving you replaceable headers as well. So you do get the bump in performance and power, but it's really the weight savings that you're gonna notice if you are taking that ADV bike off-road. Now we come to the air filter sitting on the table. This is a K&N air filter. The reason you're gonna to upgrade to this and the reasons that our number one pick for 2016, it's completely reusable. If you're anything like me, you've headed down a dirt road on a hot day, you got a lot of dust in the air, and by the time you're done with a long weekend of riding, you've pretty much destroyed a 40 or $50 OEM filter. The best part about the K&N is it's pretty much good for the life of your vehicle and all you have to do is just keep cleaning it. It's gonna utilize a high flow cotton element which is gonna aid with all the performance aspects of a fuel controller as well as an exhaust, but it's really the fact that it's reusable that's gonna be saving you money in the long run. You have the recharge kit up top. This is gonna be sold separately, but what you get is you get a filter that you don't have to worry about destroying after one long dusty day out riding off road. Now we are going to come to the rocks straps and you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, this is a section on maximizing performance. Why do you have a set of rock straps on here? Because when you're talking about performance, we're talking about performance overall. And what this does, it allows your bike to perform like a pack mule. And this is also the first time that I got Lemmy to admit he was wrong. We were driving across the state of Pennsylvania and he was ragging on me for buying $15 straps. And then his little Walmart specials snapped off of his bike and he dumped his load all over the side of the highway. Luckily, I had a spare pair with me. He admitted he was wrong and he now owns quite a few sets of these as well. The other great thing about the rock straps is they come in around 15 bucks. So what that means for you, if you have a smaller order, keep in mind that everything over $39.99 ships for free. So if you have a smaller order, you can throw a set of these on there and it'll bump you up into the free shipping zone. These are going to come in handy. I use these for so much more than just the motorcycle applications now that I have a few sets of these hanging out in my garage. Now keep in mind, if there's anything up here that you see today, you can shop the entire collection by clicking the info button on your desktop or mobile device. Or if you simply want additional information, there's gonna be those detailed breakdown videos that you can watch as well as rider reviews that you can read to really help you choose the right product for your machine. And keep in mind, this is gonna be part of our larger guide series. So whether you're looking for helmets, jackets, gloves, boots, or you want the best of what's available for parts for your bike in 2016, chances are RevZilla has a guide for that. If you have additional questions for us, reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. 
Thank you for joining us for this look at the 2016 ADV Parts Gear Guide. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.